Welcome to Health Hive. Never suffer from heartburn again. Easy tips for relief. Are you tired of constantly dealing with heartburn? Well, today we're going to share some effective tips to help you find relief. So say goodbye to heartburn and start living comfortably again. What is heartburn? Heartburn is a burning sensation in the middle of the chest or upper middle of the belly. It is also referred to as pyrosis, cardiologia, or acid indigestion. The most common cause of heartburn is gastric acid reflux into the esophagus. This gastroesophageal reflux disease GERD, symptom is the main one. In addition to burning, other frequent heartburn symptoms include burping, nausea, squeezing, stabbing, or a pressure-like feeling in the chest. Usually starting behind the breastbone in the chest, the discomfort can rise and spread to the neck, throat, or angle of the arm. Not all heartburn symptoms are esophageal in origin due to the chest housing other vital organs besides the esophagus, such as the heart and lungs. The cause will change depending on a person's age, genetics, pregnancy status, and medical history. As a result, the diagnosis will change based on the suspected organ and the illness process that is triggering it. Workup varies according to the clinical suspicion of the healthcare professional treating the patient, but it typically entails an endoscopy and a trial of antacids to see if it provides any relief. Tip number one, watch what you eat. You should stay away from particular meals if you have heartburn. Spicy foods, fatty foods, and chocolate are a few of the foods that aggravate heartburn. Onions, garlic, citrus fruits, peppers, cucumbers, tomatoes, and other common foods among the beverages are alcohol, red wine, milk, fizzy drinks, coffee, tea, iced tea, and cola. Fast food, pizza, potato chips, and other processed snacks include fried foods. Avoid using chili powder, black pepper, and fatty foods like bacon and sausages. Instead, opt for a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean meats. Whole grains like oats, couscous, and brown rice root vegetables like sweet potatoes, carrots, and beets, and green vegetables like asparagus, broccoli, and green beans are some foods that may assist with heartburn. Also helpful for heartburn are nuts, bananas, melons, cauliflower, fennel, and so forth. Consuming foods high in water might weaken and dilute gastric acid. Foods like celery, cucumber, lettuce, and watermelon are good choices. For optimum outcomes, Try to stay away from citrus fruits and foods high in fat or oil. Tip number two, smaller meals. Instead of having large meals, try eating smaller, more frequent ones throughout the day. This helps prevent your stomach from getting too full, reducing the chances of acid reflux. The number of meals you consume each day is a personal choice that is influenced by your lifestyle, schedule, and nutritional choices, among other things. Others believe that eating more than three smaller meals throughout the day is more helpful than eating three substantial meals each day. According to some experts, eating smaller meals more frequently throughout the day will help raise your metabolism and keep your energy levels high because your body is working harder when you eat smaller meals throughout the day rather than three large ones. Compared to when you consume three substantial meals a day, it works harder. Just keep in mind that your stomach needs food to digest, try not to get hungry. Tip number three, chew your food slowly. Take your time to thoroughly chew each bite. Slowly chewing your meal has many advantages. As it takes longer for the brain to receive signals from the stomach that it is full, it aids in maintaining a healthy body weight. In addition to improving numerous digestive problems, chewing food thoroughly leaves you feeling light and energized after meals. You'll experience greater fulfillment and joy, which might lessen stress. According to experts, you should chew your food 32 times before swallowing. Soft, water-filled foods can be broken down with fewer chews. Chewing is intended to break down food so that it loses texture. It seems that most bites of food should be chewed 32 times on average. Enhancing your ability to chew slowly, enjoy food, and strengthen your digestion might help you take in nutrients more effectively. This not only aids digestion but also prevents excess air from entering your stomach, which can lead to heartburn. Tip number four, avoid lying down after eating. Exercise lightly to aid digestion and blood sugar levels, such as walking, cleaning the dishes, or watering plants. It is recommended to stop eating three hours or so before bedtime. That gives your body plenty of time to digest the last meal you ate so that it won't keep you up at night, but it also leaves a short enough window. 
before bedtime so that you won't wake up hungry. Additionally, it allows those who experience acid reflux to avoid symptoms at night. Give your body time to properly digest before lying down. This allows gravity to assist in preventing stomach acid from flowing back up and causing that burning sensation. The greatest option for a late night snack is fruits or veggies, carrots, broccoli, whether they are steamed or raw. Tip number five, elevate the head of your bed. Elevate your head when you sleep. The head of your bed should be elevated six to eight inches as you sleep to help stop stomach acid from backing up into your esophagus. Use additional pillows, wedge pillows, or a bed with an electrically powered adjustable headrest. Don't lie on your back to sleep. Sleeping on your back can put pressure on your stomach and cause acid to run back up into your esophagus, especially if you're overweight. Obviously, you have little influence over the position you're in when you're sleeping. Try to pay attention to it when you're awake. Try placing cushions on either side of you to serve as a reminder not to roll over if you frequently find yourself on your side. Sleep on your left side. It has been demonstrated through research that sleeping on your left side lessens acid reflux symptoms. The lower esophageal sphincter may relax when you sleep on your right side, which could lead to heartburn by enabling stomach acid to reflux into the esophagus. This can provide significant relief for nocturnal heartburn sufferers. Finally, if these lifestyle changes don't alleviate your heartburn, consider over-the-counter antacids or consult your doctor for further advice. Remember, it's important to address persistent heartburn as it can lead to more serious health issues. Thank you for watching our video. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Take care and say goodbye to heartburn.